Good morning, everybody. Today uh, we're gonna talk about electronic. We're gonna talk about this little device, CGMCU thirty to twelve. What the fuck is that? Well, this little device. It's what we call a bad USB device. But this one is a bit special. It has a Wi-Fi chipset on it, so it gives you the possibility to do the wireless HID attack. The thing is, this device, there's not much information about it, how to configure it, and it's a bit of pain in the ass. So, now find out how to get it ready and working. I'm gonna share my knowledge to you, and you're gonna gain some time, and I'm gonna show you how to flash it, because this is what travel is, is how to flash it. There are no instructions. So, this device, I got it out of Banggood. As you can see, it's 23 bucks. And it's replacing uh, 30 to 12 binded on that Mega 32U4 before you had to kind of uh, wire everything together, get it working. And now it's a all in one package. And there's also a micro SD on which you can put the payload. So, how it works? It broadcasts, uh, you plug it in on target computer, it broadcasts SSID. And on remote you connect to the SSID and you have access to an internet website like and gives you the possibility to send the uh, HID comments on the target computer. So first thing, this is a Leonardo board um, for people knowing uh, Arduino. So the first thing you do is you plug it and there's an initial there's an initial package that I already started to put here um, to upload on the board before flash the bootloader. So make sure that you checked. So it's in French, but make sure you check Arduino Leonardo and the port matching uh, the board, the port on your computer. Oh, see, I'm stupid. Fuck. Okay, up, up. Up port and now we'll start. This is why it's important. Okay, this is done. Now the second part on this board you see here up there are two little dots. When in order to flash um, the bootloader and the chipset we need to enter in bootloader mode, but there are no buttons for that. The button here is just reset button to start the layout down the board once it's already running. So, the first best thing to do is to use a wire and to solder it and in order to make what we call a shunt. Now, you will see on the internet there are two types, there are two kinds of screws. There are some people using ESP tools and Python uh, they tell you you have to keep the shunt on till it says trying to connect and then you release it before it's actually connecting and I tried on Windows, I tried on Linux and it wasn't working so hopefully after digging Google I found a Windows utility that I will give you the link to download and in order to use that uh, I've let the shunt the whole during the whole way of the process although it wasn't working so I'm gonna do the soldering stuff and then I get back to you all right back to business so simple wire so I plug it in and we're going to flash a binary that you will get the link also <coughs> because project you know the USB um, ducky, rubber ducky and this is called the Wi-Fi ducky because it's our Wi-Fi so you have to use this package for megabit uh, dot bin okay it's a com it's a pre-compiled uh, source code for the Arduino so it's all plugged and it's in bootloader mode so this is how we're gonna be doing it so 
This is the little tool ESP8266 flash RX0. There's no install required, you just uh, launch it. So we're on port 14. One thing you need to, f to figure out in your device manager, make sure that the port speed, and that's very important in order to match, the port speed needs to match the baud rate that you're going to be using. So we're going to be using 960. I've noticed that the higher you go, sometimes you get timeout on the header of the on the writing of the header of the package of one of the package because it's going to be sending package of four mega by four mega by four mega, and um, and then it failed. Simple. Also, something important you need to have SPI mode in DIO flash speed 40 meg match really stick to what you see here on the screen okay and you're gonna be all right click here choose the package we downloaded and here you need to put ox or zero x zero 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 it's the start of the bootloader okay and now you click on flash and you will see the mac address appearing so everything is recognized for your bootloader and you have a little, you don't see it here, but on the other side of the board, you see a blinking bullet, meaning that it's writing. So, no, I'm not gonna play uh, like waiting music, like no, 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 Yeah, it's almost on. Yahoo! Successful! So I close it. You unplug your USB. And first thing you need to do is to remove its wires. You know what the saddest thing is in this process? You don't need to use hard glue. And that's sad. Because hard glue, it's like fat. It's life. No? Two important things in life is the cheese fondue and the hot glue. Okay, so now we're back to business. And we can plug it back in. Ready to start. And you see, you have the Wi-Fi duck. And the password is duck duck. And then I'm not gonna tell you more because it's your turn to work. Safe hack and you know, don't be mini, it's just for educational purposes. Take care. If you have any question, let me know, drop a message, and I will try to answer as much as I can. Bye bye.